Windows Live Photo Gallery. For Windows Live Photo Gallery, you can select either your public pictures, sample pictures, or create your own file. So I'm going to go to Workshop, and here are some of my pictures. Notice that Windows Live Photo Gallery will find your pictures by date, by tags, by months, rated, and flagged. So right now I'm going to go to Workshop. And I'm going to select this picture. I'm going to double click on the picture. And I have all these choices. I can rotate it. I can rotate it the other way. I can delete it, make a copy of it. I can tag my picture. It's basically like Facebook. I can tag a person, clean up on use tags, etc. I can rate it. I can flag it and I can resize it. This is one of my favorite options from Live Photo Gallery. You can resize your picture and notice all the different choices that you have. Smaller, small, medium, large, and custom made if you want to have it printed or something like that. Smaller would be if you want to send an image on an email. That's an email attachment. So you can go resize and save. You can also auto adjust it, show your previews. Do you want to find the people in your photos, the shown the, when the picture was taken? You can import from a camera, a video camera, album download, or CDs and DVDs. Import to the default is my pictures. You can browse here and tell it where you want it to put all your pictures after they're edited. File name, the original file name, or you can always just choose one of these, the day that was taken, the name, etc. You can go to publish, and you can publish to photo gallery. You can go to the originals folder. You can move the originals to the recycle bin after one day, six months, a year, or never. I'm going to select never. That's the default. You can edit it from here. You can change your quality, your JPEG quality. I'm going to go a little bit less than 100. The Trust Center, if you want to have Microsoft collect data, about you using the program. You also have the option to crop it, 5 by 7 as a square, etc. I'm going to say 8 by 10. And notice that you get this table or grid. You can make it bigger, and then you can go to crop. Now it's cropped. I can do the red eye for my pictures. I can retouch it, and that would remove very small imperfections. See, it made it a little blurry. I'm going to select the part of the leaf so you can see exactly what it's doing. See, it made it a little blurry. You can straighten your picture. How many times we have taken pictures and they are not straight. This is what you would use. Noise reduction. If you have too many things going on in the background of the, of the picture, this is how you clear that.